the welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori, and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook, and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Outside, it's a beautiful day. April the 8th, Eclipse Day. Yay! <laughs> And we decided that, being she's off work, and we decided that we were, and somebody just shot a gun. <laughs> we decided, uh-oh, we're fixing to have neighbors out target, target practicing. practicing. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Anyways, you never know what's going to be going on here. They got a range down there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's solar eclipse day, and we wanted to come for y'all. We're out here in the cooking shed. Out in the old cooking shed. This is where we do it. Danny cooks our steaks and our barbecues. And over here is uh, the old wood cook stove. We've got it fired up because I've got some bacon grease on it. Uh, just kind of rendering down. I'm also fixing to melt some butter on it because I'm going to be making a, a little Dutch oven peach cobbler for y'all too. Yum. Yum. So what do we call this one? Little Bertha. This is... <laughs> This is Little Bertha back here. Kent Rollins has Big Bertha. Y'all know that. This is Little Bertha back here. But anyways, we're out here. The flies are bad. The wood bees are flying everywhere. But we're yeah, y'all, the wood bees taking over this shed. They have ever since I put it up. <laughs> they are. They've got probably 15 nests in this lumber in this shed. <laughs> and I, a lot of are carpenter bees. They call them carpenter bees. And a lot of people will catch them and do away with them. And, and they're not good on my wood, but... I will tell you that I see these bees work in our garden, and we, we have occasional honeybee, but these bees help pollinate our garden, so I, I just let them do their thing. I guess if I have to replace the wood someday, I just will. Well, we're going to spend most of the day outside. I mean, it is just one of them days. It's a beautiful day. It's warm out here. We want to do some Dutch oven cooking. <clears throat> but we also know there's a lot of y'all that won't be able to experience a solar eclipse that watch us. Now, it's not that we will be able to film. I can't take my camera and just show you the, the total eclipse because they say it's not good on your camera or your phone. I don't know, but I'm not going to take that chance. So You might, whenever it gets total. You'll you, be with us. When it gets total, you might be able to shine up there once yeah. it's total, just for a second or two. But we want y'all to be with us and experience it with us. <laughs> Oh my. Camera kind of fell over. Wind blowing camera. I mean, that's part about being outside here. But we're going to get y'all down here. We're going to let y'all see how we make our Dutch oven cowboy potatoes. And they're going to be delicious. I'm curious. Chickens are out. I let them out early. I'm curious what the chickens are going to do whenever the sun starts fading out. I'm going to wonder if they're going to go to roost. <laughs> we're we'll going to We're going to see. We'll see what they do. They, they, they're going to think it's time to go to roost, we think. I think so. It's curious of what the animals will do. You know, the really. birds are out here singing today. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, let's get y'all down here, and let's get started on our cowboy potatoes. Is it hot? Got it warmed up. So we're going to put just a little bit of bacon grease down here in the bottom. We Where you? cheating a little we're using a little foil to help it keep it from sticking i don't know if you'd call that i don't know how hot that is well it ain't really cheating a lot of people put foil or pretty warm parchment paper just to keep it from sticking on the bottom smells like bacon oh yeah we had some bacon this morning and we cooked up some bacon this is what's going to be in our cowboy potatoes we got uh kielbasa we've got cut up cooked bacon I go ahead and cook it and get it good and crispy because I don't I like it that way. 
We've got cheese and onions and our sliced up potatoes and they're sliced up about a fourth of an inch thick. <clears throat> so so Dan Danny's gonna start. So we're gonna put some layering. Layering, we're gonna put some kielbasa. Or you can use any kind of Polish sausage. And it don't have to be layered perfectly. Yeah, we got uh, little Bertha over here. We got her started up. I'm going to be, uh, I rendered some bacon grease and then I'm going to put some butter out here to melt it. Then I'm going to put, I'm going to cook down some fresh peaches for my peach cobbler. I'm going to put uh, a few more. Looks good though. Okay, that's our first layer, kielbasa. Now you can also use some um, bell peppers. That'd be good in it too. So then we're gonna put potatoes. We got several and potatoes sliced up. We got up. plenty of potatoes. Yeah. Though. Really, this dish is about the potatoes. You could even um, you could slice, uh, shred up some cabbage and like put a layer of cabbage. Now you can also make this in the oven inside the house. Put it in either a baking dish or if you have a one of them uh, indoor oven, Dutch ovens. This will work in the inside oven too. But we're gonna be doing this outside Dutch oven and we're gonna be using uh, charcoal briquettes. We may have more potatoes we need, but we're just saving them if we do. Enough potatoes, I guess. Mm -hmm. We got some onions chopped up. Onion. Onion. Now usually you could maybe uh, cut you up pats of butter, but on top of the potato and onion, we'll put a little bit of more bacon grease, just a little bit, or you can do butter. All right, we got our onion. Now we're gonna put some bacon. Just a little bit of bacon grease on top of your potatoes. That'll help them cook up and taste really good. And like I said, you can use butter if you don't wanna use bacon grease. But I had all this bacon grease too from cooking all this bacon. <clears throat> it's already looking good. And like I said, you can put even some bell peppers on top of that. The raw onions smell good. That's Ooh, for sure. gonna put some bacon. How can this not be good? Now there won't be any kind of soups or or liquid in here. But if you wanted to, you could put you a, you can put you a little bit of, a, maybe a half a cup of chicken broth down the bottom if you wanted to. Okay. Now, the next layer is some good old cheese. Fresh grated cheese. Fresh grated cheese. I love that cheese. Boy, it looks good, don't it? Yeah, we're going to put another layer besides this. It looks good, don't it? Are y'all doing anything special today for the Eclipse? If you are, put it down in the comments so we'll know what you did. And uh, Arkansas. Okay, we're going to start our layers all over. Arkansas was one of the main... Oh, places to go, I guess. So <clears throat> We're supposed to be in the total eclipse. Total eclipse. So. The last time that the state of Arkansas, as far as I know, was in a total eclipse was 1918. I wasn't around. You weren't around 1918? No, and, you know, they didn't have all the predictions and uh, 
a lot of the country really wasn't aware of what was going on, so it was a, a pretty big event at that time. I just wonder if the frogs are going to come out and start singing on the pond. You, <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to be sitting out here and see if it does. And we're going to bring them with us see what they hear. I hear a woodpecker out there. I do too. Man. Okay, we got potatoes. Yeah, we're gonna have more than enough potatoes. So you might can put them on a little bit, just a little bit thicker if you wanted to. What we don't need, I'll, I'll put up and fry them up sometime. Make some all rotten potatoes out of them. We don't live side by side to anybody. Well, but you know what I mean? People have places right up against our fence line and they go out there and they target shoot, so that's what you're hearing. And it's usually on days they're off, holiday weekend. Yeah. That's okay. I don't I... Oh, salt and pepper. Oh my, we didn't put no salt and pepper <laughs> on that bottom layer. That's okay. That's your chef for you, ain't it? We'll do this we'll do this layer and it'll be good. That bacon's plenty salty though, when you're putting bacon grease on it, so. It'll be pretty <coughs> salty. It's, it's gonna be good. How did I forget pepper? My favorite ingredient, I don't understand. There's too many ingredients going on here. I can't think, can I? <laughs> Getting old, can't think. That's, looks good. I have some onion. Yes. Again. I think today is going to be the warmest day, isn't it? I believe so. That would be. I've been working on the... Checking out the camper, getting it ready. Yeah. So he started up, checked the air conditioning, and done some work on it because this weekend we're going to be doing some camping. He's got a tournament on the lake. Fishing tournament. Now, is this fishing tournament for anything, or is it just... It's a benefit, but not for individuals, for, like, uh, neuter and spading dogs. Oh, It's okay. a, it's a, uh, animal shelter type thing. Okay. <clears throat> they do it every year. They have the tournament. Have been for probably 20 years. You just had to put some more onions on there. <laughs> I'm helping you here. You know how I am about onions, and you are too. They cook down too. Yeah, I mix <clears throat> a little cheese with the onion, but it'll be all right. It's hard on me to bend down. Now bacon, we're gonna top her off a lot. Bacon. 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 So if you're gonna be doing this in your regular oven, do it on 350, cover it up, and uh, cook it for about 45 minutes. Take the cover off and check it. Check it, and if it's good and tender, go ahead and take the full off and cook it for another 15 minutes. This here, we're uh, gonna put about eight chunks of uh, charcoal briquettes on the bottom and then we'll put about 17 on the top. And it should take about an hour, and this should be done. I've got enough cheese, enough potatoes left over to make all rotten potatoes on that. I'm not gonna put that cheese real close to the edge. Yeah. Try not to. Good idea. Maybe some of it get on there. But... What do you think? I think it looks wonderful already. So we're gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna, I'll take y'all down there and show y'all how we get it started. Okay, we're gonna put about eight briquettes on the bottom, more or less. You know it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. You needed gloves, didn't you? And he's just gonna kind of put it around in a circle Need to. 
Now, if your briquettes try to uh, fizzle out, you can always add a few more. Not gonna fizz it too little. You set it down, and then you can kind of scoot them underneath if you need to. Sometimes you don't have to have them all just underneath. It gets it too hot. It's a learning process. These ain't very big. And probably pretty much just put that whole thing on there, I would think, since they kind of burnt down. And sometimes you, you may have to start a few more charcoal briquettes, like we may have to. I kind of started them a little bit early, probably. I would just dump them, but I'm trying to keep a little ash, more, less ash off there. Some of them's going <laughs> through the bottom. Yes, I can dump them right here and pick them up, can I? They're putting off the heat though. But what you're wanting is about a 350 heat. So yeah, we'll have to start some more charcoal. Get a few more started. Once it gets good and heated up, it won't take as many. No. So we'll come back through in about 30 minutes and we'll kind of turn the top lid just halfway, just like if you were turning your your uh, your baking dish in the oven or something. That way it cooks more evenly. So we'll be back. All righty, we're fixing the, we looked at it about 30 minutes and I turned the lid and I turned the pot just a little bit to help make it cook even. It smells absolutely wonderful. And we're fixing to dip some up and we're gonna eat it. And uh, I did add a few more coals to it. I put tucked a few underneath and a little more on top. So it took a good hour? It took about an hour. And it's fork tender. Don't get no. Don't get no ashes in it. Perfect. Oh, yum. Well, it's over half. It's starting to get a little twilight looking outside. We'll see how dark it gets. I think food's ready, right? Yep. There's your bowl right there. You want to dip some up? This side. Looks good. Woo! Tender. Lost my cheese, didn't I? There's some melted down in there, though. Ooh, look at that juice down there. Juice in the bottom. We're gonna get all that right there. Man, that looks good. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be. What time is it supposed to be all the way? Somewhere around one. What time is it? It's twelve thirty something. Tell my mom how that taste. It's hot. You're in a twilight zone. <laughs> I think it's about halfway now, isn't it? Oh, it's over half. Over half. I don't think it's going to get as dark as they say it's going to. What do you think? 
It's good, and them potatoes are tender. Good stuff. Got everything in there you need. Would you call it larapin? It's larapin. <laughs> it's hot, too. I'm gonna dip me up some. It's starting to get, what, what would you call it? Kind of dusky, dark? Yeah. Twilight. Twilight. Mm -hmm. It's about 1.45. Okay, Paul, is it getting, it's 1.52. Getting darker, in it? They probably can't tell it on the camera, but it is. It is getting darker. Shine out there, and it's getting darker. The camera's just not picking it up very good. It's making it look light. We can't make this a tr tradition. <laughs> It'll, we won't be here another hundred years. Nope. But we can do more Dutch oven cooking, though. Oh, yeah. You can't really s look. The light come on at the shop. Wow, that's cool. So we're about one, oh, wow. 153. It's getting darker and darker by the, by the second. Shop light come on. I know, that's so why I said shop light. Y'all, it's getting dark. Wow, I didn't expect it. Yeah, it's getting dark. Oh, cool. My little lights are on. Let's see if the chickens went to roast. It's dark, y'all. Look. The chickens are out there by the well house. They're going, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Y'all, it got dark. What y'all doing? They're going, what? Yeah, the chickens are not understanding what's going on, y'all. We figured they'd go in to roast, but there they are. Huh? Do what? Okay. There it is. We're at total. Are we at total? I believe we are. Total eclipse, y'all. We'll never experience this again. Can you see me now? Dark, ain't it? Nope. Lights come on. Our lights come on at the shop, our solar light. Our... This is about how it would look if it was what? 8.39 yeah. at night. Paul said if he puts his shades on, he can't see it because it's that dark. It's that dark. The sun's blocked enough that the glasses won't show it. Well, you can't see the black in the sun. You, you, when I got the camera up here, you can't see the black over the sun. You just see the bright. People driving by with their headlights on. <laughs> Yep. This camera don't do it justice on me. Let's see what time it is right now. It is 1.56. 1.56. Total eclipse. April 8th, 2024. Yep. Once in a lifetime. The birds aren't singing. Nope. They kind of shut up, didn't they? Birds quit hollering. Listen to the crickets. Is that crickets or frogs? I know it's hard for you to hear them. All I hear is that loud truck going up the road. <coughs> For 
Frogs are hollering. You hear them? <laughs> yeah. Frogs are hollering. But the chickens didn't go to roost. Are they still out there? Yeah, they're freaking out. They? <laughs> I don't know. There went the other sober light. They're still shooting guns over. Okay, the sun's coming back, y'all. Let's see what time it is. 1.58. It's coming back. Nest. Your lifetime, you see that big old nest? You see that big old nest? Probably a squirrel nest. Yep, it's daylight. About that fast. Rooster's crowing. Rooster's crowing. <laughs> okay, you're going to need some self rising flour. We've got a half a cup self rising flour or you can take half a cup of all purpose with a teaspoon of baking powder a little salt i put in a half a cup of sugar and i've got a half a cup of milk here but you really don't need half a cup probably about a third of a cup is all you're going to need of milk i'll put that down my recipe will be down in the information box down there below my my videos where they're always at and this is a little bit thinner than what i like it but it'll work out so it's a half a cup of self-rising flour half a cup of sugar and about a third cup of milk i like using buttermilk sometimes in this recipe too it, it makes that uh that crust that uh, bread part of the cobbler taste so good Okay, I've got my 8 inch Dutch oven here, and I've got, I put some butter, you can spray it, but I spread some butter around in it. Get all my stuff together. And I'm going to put a half a stick of melted butter. Now, if y'all want to do a full recipe, y'all just double what I'm telling you. That would be a whole stick to put in a 9 by 13 baking dish. Now we're just going to pour over all the the batter right on top of that melted butter. And I've got my my fresh peaches here that I got out of the freezer. I my little um, cooked them down with some brown sugar, cinnamon, and uh, just thickened them up a little bit with a, a cornstarch slurry. Now you can use canned peaches if you want to make it easy on yourself so if you want to double this recipe make a whole recipe use a cup of self-rising flour a cup of sugar and a cup of milk and a whole stick of butter those of y'all that like it when i do cooking for two this right here is a recipe for y'all because this is just enough for mm, two or three people maybe four We'll eat this with a little bit of bluebell ice cream when it gets done. So I'm going to find my lid. And we're going to take it outside. Well, first let me find my, um, my cinnamon and sugar. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of my cinnamon and sugar on top. Just a little bit. And then we're going to take it outside and let Danny... He's got some charcoal going out there, and we'll get it cooking.
Well, this is chunk charcoal. We run out of the briquette, so we're just going to kind of eyeball it. You want it about 350 for about 30 minutes. 30 to 40 minutes. We'll check it. Probably check it after 20 minutes. Then we'll come back. We'll have us some peach cobbler. Well, thank y'all so much for hanging out with us today. The Dutch oven cooking, it was all delicious. We're going to be doing more Dutch oven cooking, so I hope y'all enjoyed watching us. Thank you for joining us for the special day of the solar eclipse. It was really, really awesome. We love y'all. We're going to see y'all in a couple days. Y'all take care. Like us and subscribe if you haven't. And y'all come back and see us. And God bless.